Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brad. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Duel Links video. Welcome back to our Gold Rank 5 Qualifiers video. Hopefully, we're going to be moving up to Platinum in this video. I literally just tried recording this. You've probably seen some uh, of the fails either at the beginning or the end of the video, as you can see here. Had two really easy wins, and then came up against the Weevil, and it just... It all went to shit. He got three of those Parasite Parasites into my deck, and it just... Ah... Uh, we did get some very lucky draws though with the uh, with the Dark Magician support. It was it was some good duels. So uh, I'll see if I can include some uh, highlights of those three duels in the video. Rex with Dinosaur Kingdom. Hmm. Gonna start with a bit of defense because we either can get Dark Magician to our hand, which would be very nice, even though we already have it. Oh no! I played the wrong spell card face down. No. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. We could have saved our legion. He could have been with us for one more turn. That's a tad annoying. But at least we're thinning out our deck. At least we're not going to draw, hopefully, into another Dark Magician, because that would be a bit annoying. If we draw into Supremacy Berry, that'd be very, very nice. Uh, either way, we're going to be getting rid of that uh, dinosaur this turn. So double star, oh, double summon. That's also very nice. I'd, I'd, I'd happily take double summon. So I pay 2,000 to bring the summon our Dark Magician. And does he have any counter? He doesn't. Okay, we're going to play our 1,000 Knives to get rid of Twin-Headed King Rex. Cool. Going to set our, uh, what's it called? Enemy Controller face down. Play double summon, and then that's going to allow us to summon our final Dark Magician to the field. Now, hopefully his his you know his back row just consists of enemy controllers and stuff, and nothing like tragedy. Because I came against someone actually running that tragedy engine, you know, where you can uh, you flip one monster in defense mode, and then you play tragedy, and then you just destroy all the defense monsters you, your opponent controls. That's a very nice uh, strategy you can employ on this game, especially when you're dealing with a uh, three-star demotion. High attack point decks, it's very easy to do. Rex, okay. I don't really get the people that I'm facing in gold rank 5. That Honestly, these, these later gold ranks seem to be easier than gold rank 1, so I'm guessing because there's a bigger abundance of people in there, and people are just getting screwed out of that. Now I wonder what ranks I'm actually going against, because obviously you aren't guaranteed to go against people in gold rank 5 when you're rank 5, so that was against the gold rank 2 person. So, yeah, like, as I was saying in my, the last time I recorded this, um, Platinum is going to be a hell of a ride because that's like the top tier of people. Not many people get into Platinum. And, oh, actually, if we win this, we'll get a rank up. I didn't realise it was that. I didn't realise it was that quick because obviously I lost a duel, I think. I That or I'm being completely stupid and not remember anything, but this Kyber is running peak performance, so I'm guessing a Blue Eyes engine? Oh, my lord. This... I'm sorry, but this this recording has given me the best Dark Magician hands possible. And he's running Shard of Greed. He's running Shard of Greed in King of Games, not King of Games, in Gold Rank 5. And he's not played anything else. Oh, this is... This is heaven. So what we're going to do, obviously, was we're going to play that Demotion. And we're just going to... I'm sorry, you are not getting your draw too. I know he, his hand is going to definitely have a Sphere Karibo in it, because otherwise he wouldn't have played nothing on the field. But... I still want to attack into it. He did have a Sphere Karibo. Oh my god. Why do you not have a Sphere Karibo? Or what? Is your hand full of spell and traps? Because I know I've been there with this deck, and it makes sense because this deck is reliant on a skill. This guy's summoning Kyber Man. Ooh. No, I'm sorry. Ch Champion's Vigilance on your Kyber Man. You are not summoning Blue Eyes White Dragon today. That is not happening. Not happening at all. Unless he plays Paladin of White Dragon. At which point it is happening. But he looks like he's staying away. He's trying to re he's reconsidering his life choices, whether he really should have been competing in the case in the uh, World Championship qualifiers. 
Interesting, I have been watching a lot of streams today. I watched um, Shady Penguin uh, do a bunch of uh, World Championship Qualifier uh, duels and also uh, Mascarin. Uh, both some really, obviously, if you, you've, you've obviously heard of those two uh, dueling YouTubers. And they were, t I think, Mascarin was running with uh, Harpy's Hunting Ground, which I've definitely come across a lot. If you're in gold, you will be facing Harpy's Hunting Ground the majority of the time. Uh, kind of interesting that we didn't actually face it in this set of duels. I think in the the ones that the one where I failed kind of did, and you'll probably see some highlights of that. But there was a lot of Harpy's Hunting Ground online today in gold, and platinum right now I think is a barren wasteland of people, which I wouldn't be surprised at at all. So uh, let's see, what is Seto Kaiba doing? Is he just trying to time this game out? Because all you're doing for me, mate, is making my video a bit longer. You know, getting out of YouTube money. I'm joking. Opponent finally surrendered. We have finally made it into Platinum. Someone in the comments section up on the top public service in that mouse wants stop using Link Relinquished. Yeah. Relinquished was a very, very big ball ache to go against in the early uh, gold stages. So I can see where he's coming from. And there we go. The rank up into Platinum rank. I'm gonna quick, this might screw up my recording. Just had to take a picture just for just for Twitter and for Discord. But now that we've got that, we can go out to the main menu and we can now get to choose our super rare. Now it's not a, uh, a prismatic super rare or a glossy, it's just a normal super rare. Wait, what? How do I? It just said I was... Oh, there it is. I can click it there. So we now get to choose any of these super rare cards that we want. So I have no idea what I want. So if you, if you didn't get your, uh, I don't know why. I think my, I think, I think my hands are a bit. Yeah, right. Let's. No, what are you doing? In all honesty, I kind of want a Gamma, because I didn't get many from the event. Um, what is this doing? Seriously game. I'm just trying to see what cards I want. Like I'm not too fussed about these super rare cards from Joey, from Super Joey that is. And I'm not too fussed about anything we can get right now. so. I think I am going to go for uh, for Yugi's, Yugi's Gamma the Magnet Warrior, because I did need another Gamma. That was one card that I was very dis disappointed I couldn't get in the, in the uh, Yugi event. So I'm going to receive Gamma the Magnet Warrior as my super rare card. And there we go, I believe we now have Gamma. We got our rank up celebration gift because we did get into Platinum for the first time. Just gonna quickly go and check my card library to see if I have uh, have two gammas now. I hope I do. Uh, sort by newest. Would that show it? There we go. We've got our two gamma the magnet warriors. We have finally reached platinum rank in dual links world championship qualifiers. We're one step closer to reaching the king of games. One step closer to the final qualifiers. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this series so far. There's going to be one more episode in this part of the series, and of course we're going to move on to the actual final qualifier series. So, hope you guys have been enjoying. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comments down below with how you've been doing in this event so far. And I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.